All right, this run shows off some more fun with Nurse Shark, Pteranodon, Beluga, just all those snipers with the trumpets and just the absurdity that, like, Nurse Shark is. It deals 30 damage to three random enemies at level 3, so 90 damage. And, of course, with Pteranodon, you can uh, double that. And if you go double Pteranodon, you can triple it, so why not? Deal just an absurd amount of damage. Pretty much nothing can really stop it. You're going to have even, like, 50-50s with melons are still going to die to this kind of squad, so you're gonna have to have uh, quite the team in order to beat this one. I guess like snipers, of course, but I feel like I always mention that snipers are the counter to like half the teams that I build, but snipers are pretty good sometimes. I mean, especially if you can get like a leopard or something. But yeah, so the actual start of the run, um, it's a custom pack as always, and just, I mean, the beginning's not really that interesting because uh, there's really not that much I was trying to do, just trying to survive, so. In the meantime, I'll talk about random movies I saw recently. Wow, I know, such a big surprise. <laughs> I talk about movies, but uh, I watched a movie called Locke, which was kind of interesting. It started Tom, ha Tom Hardy, and it's about a guy's life just kind of unraveling uh, while he's driving to a hospital or something. But I don't think it was the most amazing movie. I think it was more of like a... I don't know, the gimmick of, like, the whole movie taking place in a car in, a, like, just this one drive actually kind of hurt it more than anything, and it made it so it was just a little more boring than it should have been. Because, like, it's uh, it's not a bad movie. It's, like, you know, it's got a story and, like, characters and stuff. The things that are usually good in movies to have. But um, ultimately, I just, like, what after, like, 30 minutes, I was like, wow, this really is just going to take place the entire time in this car and it's just uh, like so many of the shots I mean they try to mix it up I guess a little bit but still it's just uh, I don't know it would have been like much more interesting to have multiple locations on set and stuff although I'm sure it was great for the budget no idea what the budget of the movie was but like I mean that kind of reminds me of the movies that do like the one shot thing for the entire thing like Birdman or 1917 which I love both of those movies those are both great and I think, like, that gimmick is really cool. I don't know if it's really a gimmick, but does, I guess, enhance the movie and make it feel uh, much more epic or something? I'm not really sure, but, yeah, I think it's... Anyway, I gave that movie, like, a 3 out of 5. Probably wouldn't really recommend it too much. Um, so, yeah, I guess I could, like... I should feel like if I don't recommend a movie, I should recommend something else. I could recommend, like, Attack the Block or something. That was a fun movie that I watched... I mean, quite a while ago, but randomly uh, thought about it recently. It was like, wow, that was a good just little action sci-fi movie. So if you want to watch a movie, I guess you can watch that. If anyone ever, like, actually cares about any of the recommendations, but um, I wouldn't recommend... I feel like it's weird to recommend movies because people just have, like, such varying tastes that uh, one movie that I like is not going to be the same that, like, you like, obviously, because we have different experiences we view, I guess, like, what hap or what's realistic and not, it's like, what kind of characters we like. I don't really know. There's just so much that goes into it. But anyway, back to the actual one. Oh, do you know what I forgot to mention? I forgot to mention the tournament that I just played in. Um, I played in Hero's Tournament, and it was a lobby tournament. There's not a ton of lobby tournaments anymore. Most of them are just 1v1s, but this was the first one in a really long time. And it was a team lobby tournament, so we had streamer and two viewers... So my team was me, Kyogre, and the dog from Dog with the Blog, and we actually won, which was great. Um, Kyogre, I think, is definitely one of the best lobby players out there. I would also put my name in that conversation. I did, uh, there's been like three lobby tournaments that I'm aware of. I got second in one, I won one, and then I won another one. So, I mean, the record, pretty solid. Also, the egg popping melon there, you don't really see that too often, but... Um, yeah, so that was great. Um, it was kind of a cool tournament format because, like, there were seeds for the three players. And then all the one seeds kind of played together in a person lobby, and then all the two seeds played in a lobby, and all the three seeds played in a lobby. And the format was a little weird because it was based off how many turns you survive. Maybe not the greatest format. And then you get, like, bonus uh, based on how many hearts you win with. But yeah, it was, a, it was a fun tournament for the most part. It started off really terribly because I got like six in the first lobby. Felt like I really screwed things up and I was really disappointed because I play so many lobbies and I would like to think that I'm actually good at them. Um, I do have a leaderboard on stream where I have like 200 plus wins on that leaderboard. But of course, I'm playing in every single lobby and most people are not. Level 3 rooster spawn. 
I'm like half paying attention to what's going on. But yeah, the uh, the chocolate cake Nyla. Originally, this was kind of gonna be a run that showcased chocolate cake because I was thinking I would just chocolate cake everything. And chocolate cake Beluga, it turns out, is actually really quite good because you get to spit out the thing with double base stats. And of course, it's gonna be level two, or if you have a level two Beluga, level three with the chocolate cake. So it can be really nice to go like level two Beluga, you give it a chocolate cake, and then you have it swallow a nurse shark. But there's also quite a few other things that happen to be good too. You can even just like Beluga a Warthog or something if it spits out a level three Warthog at triple stats. It used to be really good, but now it's only like a 27 attack, but it's still gonna give 27 stats. So like there's quite a few things I think uh, that could be a decent swallow. And uh, yeah, okay, chalk by that one first. So chocolate swallows and then level two Pteranodon is going to be really helpful, and of course the Pteranodon will double activate the thing after it levels up with the chocolate cake, so once I get one more Nyla, I will pretty much have level 3, and this is quite the squad. I mean, it's hard to beat a team like this. 48 Trumpets, level 2 Nurse Shark, still need that chocolate cake, 33 damage, and then another 33 damage twice. So even though, like, not level 3 yet, still an incredible team, and just really fun to, like absolutely wipe out teams it turns out just crushing and absolutely dominating is a lot of fun so yeah um anyway hope to see more lobby tournaments in the future there's another tournament um there's quite a few tournaments actually if you want to join any of them you can join sap dojo and see like indie uh, announcements or indie event announcements to see if you want to join any of them because there's quite a dif uh, quite a few different formats and everything so uh, if you have if you're like really busy you can do like the long form tournament if you just want to do like the one day tournament or the big tournament That's cool, too But the blobfish pill with double pteranodon. I'd actually never done this before but man that was cool <laughs> uh, I didn't realize you'd get three experience off of that. That's pretty crazy and I guess just feed the melon so that it swallows the nurse shark and now I have the Nyla double beluga double nurse shark I mean this is literally just pack four, but um I guess I decided to do custom packs because it made it a bit easier, but this is also something you can do at pack four. But pack four, um, a lot of the lobbies that have been winning recently are actually German Shepherd teams because like it's really hard because you're actually scaling the German Shepherd to kill them, especially if they have like a potato or something and they have more than 40 HP. Then even like a Pteranodon Nurse Shark team would not be able to kill the German Shepherd. So, I mean... It, I, this team isn't unstoppable, I guess, but there's the level 3 Nyla pretty much, and uh, what do I want to do here? I guess just go straight for level 3, because I do actually need that since I have 3 faint abilities. And 10 HP in the back just in case they have tomato or croc or something is pretty nice. And instant 50 trumpets. There's the extra damage, and look at that, the triple trigger! And it doesn't even get to the second beluga. I also need a chocolate cake for that one too, but there's the level three, so I get to double activate that. I have 50 trumpets, but how much is it actually spending? Because I'm getting three triggers, uh, so it's spending 30 trumpets, and then it will spend... Okay, it's actually perfect right now. It'll spend exactly 50 trumpets. Um, yeah, and here we go. Even with just the level two, gonna absolutely destroy people's teams. Very lovely to see, and I just, I wish I could find one more chocolate cake, but you can maybe guess by the thumbnail that I don't actually find it, which was really disappointing, because I wanted the absolute god team, but, um, yeah, the Nyla, the, the one thing that this kind of loses to, actually, okay, there's level two, is eggplants, because if something does move some in front of the Nyla, then it, I'll have zero trumpets, and it'll just waste all the triggers, so that's kind of the problem with playing, like, uh, pack four you hardly run into any eggplants in arena though, especially in customs But here we go more triggers and a solid 10 wins turn 15 Maybe could have gotten a little longer so I could have gotten the perfect build but still a really fun team and thanks for watching. See ya